Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Silver Ramos here at my house. Hope, missing you very much. Hope you're thinking about me as much as I'm thinking about you. Today, we're going to do a daily fix it. We're going to use all the skills we know to fix this sentence that is not correct. I do have four helpers with me today. I have Daddy Pig and I have Mommy Pig. And I have George and Peppa Pig. And they're all going to be here to help us fix this sentence. So the first thing we have to do is we're going to remind ourselves of everything we need to do know when we're writing a sentence. First, every sentence begins with an uppercase letter. And everything else is going to be lowercase. Then, every word needs its own space. Just like people need their own space, words need their own space. So make sure you use your finger space in between each word. Then, every sentence has the proper punctuation. Make sure you end it with a period, an exclamation mark, or a question mark. Don't forget, stop and check. Does your sentence make sense? Is it in the proper order? And of course, last but not least, everybody knows how important penmanship is to me. Every letter needs to touch the right line. So we are ready to begin. First, I'm going to use all my sight words. Make sure you use yours from home, same one you have. And I'm going to look and see which sight words I can find on my sentence so that I know those words I can read. So I'm going to look at the first word and it's not familiar to me. I'm moving on to the next one. I know this word is. And then I'm moving on. I also know this word looks familiar. This one looks familiar. This one does not look familiar. And the last one looks familiar. So now, maybe some of our friends here can help us. Who can read this word for me? Daddy Pig is very good. Who can read this word for me? Peppa, the, very good. And George, can you try this word for me? Yellow. Excellent. And mommy pig, what is that word? And. Excellent. So now I know we know four words. We know is, the, yellow, and. That leaves us with two words that we need to sound out. So put your arms out and let's get ready. First sound is uh, mm. sun. Excellent. And the last word we need to look is hot. Put your arm out and let's do it. Ah, t, hot. Very good. Sun is the yellow hot and. That is not the right order. We need to find it. So now I'm going to use my clues. I know that we have to start it with an uppercase letter. So I'm looking. Oh, there's a lot of words with an uppercase letter. So let's re-look. Sun, the, hot. Which one do you think might be first? Sun is the yellow hot and the yellow hot and is sun hot sun is the yellow and we really have to make sense of this do you want to help me oh mama pig go ahead you think it starts with the sun you think that's what it's going to be about okay so let's think of it the let's put number one in the name the 
to his son, the son. The son what? What would you think they would be telling us about the son? Papa Pig? Okay, the son is hot. Okay, so the son is hot. And what word do you think is next, George? The sun is hot yellow. George thinks yellow would be next. So let's see. The sun is hot yellow and, because that would be the last one. Go ahead, George. And would be next. So we'll take the five out of there. And we will put the five under the word and. So let's read it. The sun is hot and what do you think we need now, Peppa? Yellow. So now we know our sentence is in order. Let's read it. The sun is hot and yellow. Now we're ready to write it. So before we write it, we need to look for all those errors because we have way too many words with uppercase letters. So let's do this. First one, the, how does it look, boys and girls? Is it starting with an uppercase letter? Every letter touching the right line? And do you think there's proper finger spacing? Let's remember, always check. Yes, you're right. It definitely has an uppercase. It definitely is touching the right line. But yes, it is too attached to the word is. We need to give it space. So we're ready to write the word the. And I'm going to give it space. So here I go. Every letter touching the right line, making sure that my letters are close together because it's part of the same word. And now the word the is done. So I'm gonna cross it out so I know I used it. The. Now I need to go to the word sun. Sun. The sun. So what's wrong with the word sun? Yes, it's with an uppercase, and the letters are up top from top to middle. That's not how we make those letters. So let's use our proper fixing, and let's write the word sun. Don't forget your finger space. The sun. Okay, and I'm going to cross it out. The sun, the sun what? Is, we already determined that. And now we know not to put is so close to the because we already talked about the spacing with the word the. So does is look like every letter is touching the right line? They're lowercase, too much space here. So let's make sure we only give it the exact space it needs. The sun is. The sun is, let me cross it out, so we know we used it. The sun is hot. So now let's look at the word hot, because that's number four. One, two, three, four. Hot. What's wrong with the word hot? Go ahead, Peppa. Yes, it has an uppercase H, and it's not supposed to, because it's not the first word. So now we need to write the word hot and make sure we do it with a lowercase h. Don't forget your finger space. And proper formation of your letters. Okay, the sun is hot and let's look at the word and. One, two, three, four, and five, and. And, all right, looks nice. What's wrong with it? 
George? Yes. It's from top to middle. The A, lowercase a, goes from middle to bottom. And the D is going into the special space. You don't write in there without permission. So let's do our finger space and write the word and. Make sure you're using proper formation. That means every letter touching the right line. And now let's cross it out. Oh, we forgot to cross out hot. The sun is hot and the last word is yellow. Let's look at the word yellow. And what is wrong with the word yellow? Daddy pig. Too many uppercase letters. Yes, they're all supposed to be lowercase letters. So make sure you do it. Now I'm a little nervous here that once I get my finger space, I'm not gonna have enough room for the word yellow. So I'll come over and bring it to the next line. All right, so I'm ready to write my word yellow. And remember, it's still part of the sentence. So this word, even though it's on another line, doesn't start with an uppercase letter. It has to go lowercase because it's part of the sentence. The sun is hot and yellow. Okay, so cross it out. And now we used all our words. Now my sentence is done. Doesn't it look beautiful? What do you mean no? Every letter is touching the right line. Looks like I have finger spaces everywhere. <gasps> Punctuation. Did I finish my sentence? No. Now let's see, is this asking a question or is it telling me something? The sun is hot and yellow. It's telling me. So do I use a period, an exclamation mark, or a question mark? Go ahead, Mama Pig. A period, because it's just telling me information. Very good. So boys and girls, I challenge you for you to do this daily fix it at home. I know you can do it. And remember, messy work is not my favorite. I like slow and neat. I'll check with you again real soon. Bye.